This is the wall, right, that we're expanding out. Right. That the, the addition is going to go that entire way, which is going to be great because it's going to basically turn this room into Eli's bedroom. It's going to feel so good to do this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's just getting started. Let's take some walls down. Oh, look. There's so much room, I can tell already. Up, board, ceiling. Lord help us. Oh, the oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's really fantastic, isn't it? Wow. Any ideas what we should do with this? <laughs> that was so satisfying to watch. That was fun, right? It was, okay. it was. All right. That, of course, was designer Ty Pennington literally bringing down the house <laughs> in HGTV's new renovation show, tiebreaker get it but don't worry he can also rebuild it as he's proven before on shows like oh my gosh i love trading spaces and extreme makeover home edition and he is back now and this time competing with other designers to help homeowners create or find the house of their dreams and he is here the one and only carpenter craftsman designer extraordinaire ty pennington young fella good yeah. to see you now now do you have an advantage over these other designers i mean what what's your I guess, what's your edge over these others? I would say experience, ah. you know, experience. I've been, let's face it, I've been doing it a while, as as Amy mentioned, uh, with training spaces. I mean, if you think about, like, I look like I was 12 when I see old reruns, <laughs> like, my God. But um, <laughs> but what I love about my my new co-host on Tiebreaker is, is really the sass. You know, I think sometimes you see like these shows where the couples get along so well you know and everything's going just really too well what i love about this is no one is afraid to say that idea sucks and um, we're not going to do it or vice versa and so in the end i think two minds are much better than one and ty as you know change just isn't easy and so you mentioned there's a lot of sass people don't always agree in fact we've got one look at a couple that was at odds over how to renovate let's take a look at the clip my name is Alyssa. My name is Chad. We have been married. <laughs> I always forget, like 15 years now? Together 23 years and we have one boy. When we first moved in, we started with uh, renovating the bedrooms. Then we were gonna do the kitchen and we just never got to it. Looking back, I wish we would have did our kitchen instead because it is such a center focal point of the home. My vision for the kitchen was let's put a coat of paint on the cabinet and then there is a section of the countertop where part of it is counter height and part of it is bar height. Let's just make the whole thing even. I want to take down the whole wall and put a large island. There's just so much to figure out and we bump heads when it comes to design. We need some desperate help to make this final call. Ty, will you please help us? All right, Ty, help them out. What are they supposed to do here, trying to renovate a kitchen? Well, it's interesting because they're both right, which is the way I look at uh, every you know situation. We're both right. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I think, let's face it, like the kitchen really is the center of the home now. And of course, it's also where you're going to get the most bang for your buck, especially on resale. Um, but I think just looking at your kitchen, there are a lot of updates. Let's face it, your cabinetry could definitely use an, an update. But I love the idea you were talking about with your, your island. The two levels are a little bit dated, let's say the least. But um, as long as that's not a load-bearing wall, I think you could open that up. And even if you've got to just leave a column, it's still going to look so much better as, a, as an island. And just remember when you go into this, like if you're going to design it, make sure it's, it's, it's designed for the way you live. If you guys entertain, then make sure there's lots of seating so that people can gather around the island because that's the new sort of dining room. And you don't even need a dining room if that's what you're going to do. But if you're really a cook and you really love, you know, the culinary aspects, think about maybe pots and pans hanging uh, above um, so that you can display your beautiful cookware, et cetera. Um, but it's really how you use the kitchen that I think you need to, to focus on. Very good advice. And I mean, is this something you could do DIY? I would say some of it you can do like on your own, <laughs> but when it comes to moving electrical and plumbing and large <laughs> open walls, maybe call it a friend. <laughs> 
Well, you're the friend we've been calling and the country's been calling for a long time, my man. Really, congratulations. Of course, I know you talked to Dr. Ashton here in the, uh, in the break before we came on. You guys are close. She's, we can see her over there just in the camera shot. She's very <laughs> excited that you're, you're on today and says great things. So, really, thanks so much for being here and spending some time with us, all right? Hey, thanks for having me on. You guys are awesome. And everybody, you can catch Ty on new episodes of Ty Breaker. That's Monday nights on HGTV. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.